This video demonstrates how to configure ProfiSafe communication between a BNR Safe PLC and an ABB IRC5 robot controller. This connection allows us to design a robot cell without the need for hard guarding and door interlock switches by harnessing the power of BNR's Safe PLC integrated safety control platform and ABB's SafeMove 2 safety system. Our physical setup includes an ABB IRB4600 robot it's being controlled by an ABB IRC5 controller, which is talking Profinet to a BNR X20 PLC, which has connected to it an integrated safety X20 PLC, which has connected to it three safe digital inputs, an e-stop, and two area scanners. And now I'm going to show you how to set up Profisafe communication between the IRC5 and the BNR Safe PLC. Now we're in Robot Studio, which is ABB's robotic software platform. And once we get online with the controller, we're going to go to the I.O. configurator and set up our Profinet interface. And here we're just going to give it an IP address and a subnet mask. And now we're going to set up our Profinet controller by importing a GSD file that I got from BNR. And it's going to tell me that I've already have it installed, so it's going to skip. And now it's going to give us a list of controllers that we can pick from. And we're going to pick the one that has safe in the name. And once we've added our controller. We have to configure it. So we're going to give it an IP address uh, and this IP address has to be on the same subnet as the IP address that we configured for the Profinet interface. So in this case I'm going to use dot three. And the gateway has to be the IP address that we set up for the Profisafe interface which it was dot one. So now once we've set up the master we now have to set up the virtual module which we'll choose from a device list and we're going to choose the Profisafe 4 byte 1 int module and this virtual module is a Profinet slave so we have to configure it and we're going to do that by giving it a destination address uh, which we will use later on on the BNR side and in this case I will just arbitrarily pick a value of 10 and also for fun I will change the SIL rating to 2. And now we have to actually configure what we're going to be passing over the Profisafe network so I'm going to create two safe digital input signals on the ABB side uh, one called SDI0 and one called SDI1. SDI0 will correspond to our area scanners uh, in an AND configuration and SDI1 will correspond to the e-stop. And now that we got our signals configured I'm going to request write access. And once we have write access we can use these signals we just created to do some safe actions by going to the safety menu and visual safe move. So I need to create an e-stop. So I'm going to go stop configurations and I'm going to call this uh, cat1 e-stop. And we're going to select SDI1 as the trigger which corresponds to our e-stop. And we're also going to add a tool speed supervision as well uh, that we're going to use to limit the speed when the area scanners are tripped. So we're going to choose SD0, which is our area scanner signal. And we're going to choose to limit the speed to 250 millimeters per second. We'll just leave that there. And now we're going to write to the controller. And once the robot comes back from a warm start, 
We're going to configure the BNR side by using Automation Studio, which is BNR's software platform. And in Automation Studio, you can see that I already have my hardware configured, including the Profinet interface module. And now we're going to configure the module. So first, under the General tab, we have to give it the name of the station, which corresponds to our Profinet master that we set up on the ABB side in Robot Studio. So I'm going to copy and paste the Profinet station name into Automation Studio. And next, under Modules, we're going to add in the same virtual module that we added on the ABB side. So it's the PS 4 byte one int module. So we're going to apply, hit OK, and now we're going to download to the PLC. And once that's done, we're going to open up Safe Designer, which is BNR's Safe PLC software tool. It's actually integrated into Automation Studio, but I already had it up, so I'm going to navigate over to it, where I've already created a little uh, program in progress here. So as you can see, um, I've got an AND signal with uh, my two area scanners, and that corresponds to uh, bit zero, just like on the ABB side, and the e-stop corresponds to bit one. We're packing into a byte, and we're going to send that over the ProfiSafe network. So now I'm going to add in the ProfiSafe library. And I'm going to insert the ProfiSafe communication function block. So I'm going to connect the output of the safe byte to my first byte. And I also have to add in destination address. So if you remember, we, we picked 10 um, when we configured it on the ABB side in Robot Studio. So now we're going to give it a constant value of 10 for our safe word. And this function block also requires a Boolean input for uh, resetting the function block. We don't really use, but we have to put it in in order for it to compile. So I already created one. I'm going to map right there. And now we're going to go ahead and compile our project. Now that's done, we can go ahead and open up our remote control so we can download the project to the safe PLC. And now we're able to monitor variable status inside the safe PLC. So we can actually see the status of our area scanners and our e-stop, and we can see on uh, the communication block that our, our data is valid, so that's good. So that means we are communicating properly over the ProfiSafe network. So now if I go back to Robot Studio and navigate down to our ProfiNet and our virtual module we created, we can see our signals, SDI 0 and 1, and they are both showing 1s in Robot Studio, meaning that they are OK. And if we do a split screen with Safe Designer, we can see the same signals across both platforms. So if I interrupt one of the area scanners, say on the right side, you can see the safe input signal dropping out in Safe Designer, and you can also see SDI 0 going low in Robot Studio by showing a 0 next to the signal. And similarly, if I interrupt the left area scanner, you can see SDI 0 dropping out as well, so either scanner will have the same effect. And if I hit the e-stop, you can see the e-stop OK signal dropping out in Safe Designer and SDI1 signal going low in Robot Studio. ProfiSafe communication between BNR and ABB empowers us to create flexible, less bypassable safety solutions while still maintaining safety rating and improving accessibility to your machine.